Windsor Castle is the largest and oldest occupied castle in the world. Anne Boleyn has been seen standing at the window in the Danes cloister, weeping, and has been seen running down a corridor, screaming. The Queen's House at the Tower of London is said to be the dwelling quarters of the spirit of Arabella Stuart, a potential heiress to the English throne in the 1600s. Without the King's approval, she married for love to a man named William Seymour. The two were detained and held captive. They attempted to make a romantic escape, but only William made it out, escaping to France. Arabella was captured once more and locked within the tower until she passed. Those who encounter her ghost say she is far from happy. She has been known to shove people out of her room, demanding to be left alone. Jane Seymour has allegedly taken up residence in the stairwell of Hampton Court. The beloved third wife of King Henry VIII met an early and abrupt demise at the age of 29 due to complications from childbirth. She walks the palace dressed in white, appearing on the silver stick stairs. This stairwell leads up to the room where her tragic childbirth took place. Windsor Castle harbours the restless ghost of King George III, who suffered from mental illness during his reign. His unsettled mental state has apparently remained chained to his spirit. The castle was used to harbour the sick king and he attempted to subdue his troubled thoughts while detained within its walls. Long after his departure, those who catch a glimpse of him say he still peers through the windows and doors in sorrow. King Henry VIII favoured the luxurious Hampton Court Palace. His wife, Catherine Howard, supposedly favours it in the afterlife. Henry VIII ordered her demise for adultery and treason, but Catherine's restless teenage spirit apparently refuses to leave the grounds where she was detained. Before her head was taken from her body, she ran through the palace screaming out to the king in hopes of sparing her life. Those who have encountered Catherine's ghost say she can be heard crying and in anguish pleading for mercy. The soul of Agnes Sampson fell to the mercy of a horde of witch hunters. They terminally harmed the girl who left a vile curse on the inhabitants of Holyrood Palace. Agnes's ghost creeps through the palace displaying the damage that ended her life. Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Margaret, along with other members of the royal family, have reportedly seen and heard Elizabeth I around Windsor Castle. Many prominent figures in history claim the Virgin Queen lingers within the castle's walls. Her heels can be heard clacking away on the floors of the Royal Library as she travels around the Grand Book Hall and its inner rooms. The Grey Lady has been seen haunting the Clock Court and State Apartments of Hampton Court Palace. She is said to be none other than Sybil Penn, a servant who aided Elizabeth I through her smallpox recovery. While helping the Queen, she herself caught the virus and passed. Some say she continues to inhabit the apartments, making noises with a spinning wheel. Before Buckingham Palace was built, the land was the site of a monastery. The palace sits on the tomb of a restless monk. The monk's name is unknown, 
but his spirit remains on the premises. He allegedly appears on the rear terrace, cloaked in a brown cowl. The rattling of his chains can be heard from the terrace at night and mourns amplifying his anguish. King Henry VIII is a loud spirit who can supposedly be heard plodding through the corridors at Windsor Castle. Those who have seen the king say he moans and groans. He's a towering and angry ghost, often shouting and piercing. Prince Edward V and Prince Richard, Duke of York, were taken to the Tower of London at the ages of 12 and 9, never to be seen or heard from again, believed to have been slain. Inhabitants claim their spirits haunt the ground, identifiable by their long white nightgowns. They never walk alone or make a sound, they simply hold hands and linger before disappearing. Mary Queen of Scots had a close friendship with her private secretary, David Rizzio. When Mary's husband became suspicious of the relationship, he called for David's immediate termination. David, who hid behind the Queen, was pierced a total of 56 times in the dining room. While their relationship was short-lived, the legacy would haunt the dwellings of Holyrood Palace for centuries to come. His blood stain still blemishes the wooden floors, even though the wood panels have been replaced several times. While serving as King Edward VII's private secretary, Major John Gwynne became involved in some scandalous events. Amidst the pressures of society and unable to thwart ever circulating rumours, he took his own life in a first floor office in Buckingham Palace. Those who still traverse the office say his uneasy spirit lingers in the room, disturbing guests with his presence. Stay in the room long enough and they say that the bang that ended his life from his gun can be heard echoing through the office. King George II is said to haunt Kensington Palace. At the time of his death in 1760, he was reportedly waiting for news from his troops during the Seven Years' War. He is said to have died staring out the window saying, why don't they come? The tale says he is still asking to this day. Queen Victoria witnessed a green mist drifting across Crather's Castle in Scotland. Appearing as a childlike ghostly figure, the spirit disappeared into the fireplace. The most popular legendary story which people believe goes like this. A royal servant became pregnant out of wedlock and no one knew what happened to her. She just disappeared. Whether she was murdered or took her own life is speculation. Glamius Castle in Angus, Scotland, the birthplace of Princess Margaret and the ancestral home of the Earls of Strathmore has at least nine ghosts. A ghostly madam can be seen walking on the roof along the Mad Earl's Walk on a wild winter night. Northumberland's 13th century Chillingham Castle is said to be one of the most haunted castles in the world. The most famous ghost being that of the Blue Boy who haunts the castle's pink room. Guests brave enough to stay there Apparently, he hear loud wails echoing down the corridor at the stroke of midnight, followed by blue flashes or a blue halo above their beds. Then a figure of a boy dressed in blue appears beside them. 
located in Ravenglass, Cumbria, Manchester Castle, dates all the way back to 1258. Many visitors claim to hear a child crying and a woman singing in the tapestry room. In the 1930s, Wallace Simpson had grand ideas for Windsor Castle and attempted to remove spruce trees planted by her lover's great-grandparents, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. As the story goes, the trees were never removed as the workers were scared away by the clearly unhappy spirit of Queen Victoria, waving her arms and mourning loudly. Anne Mahal in Norfolk is part of the Queen's Sandringham estate. The Walpole family originally owned the estate. Henry Walpole's life did not end well. He was tortured at the Tower of London for his Catholic conversion and finally hung in 1595. His spirit is said to haunt the grounds of his old home. What do you think of these stories? Do you have any stories of your own you'd like to share? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.